Hi everybody, just a very quick video because I'm about 10 minutes from going away for the weekend. So the full review of this DJI Fly App 1.6.10 will be coming in the couple of days time. However, this video is to let you know that following the release um, of the beta version of the Fly App 1.6.12, which is designed to get people that were having uh, app opening issues with Android 12. This actually did provide the fix. However, DJI have now actually released the full version uh, for people using Android devices and of course this controller with drones such as the DJI Mini 2. Now just to put you in the picture, um, the way to download this, you can get this directly from the DJI website. Even though it does say um, on the graphic that it is 1.6.8, which is well out of dicks. We've had 1.6.9 for quite a few weeks now. If you actually hit the download button you will see this is 1.6.10 version 10.10 now one thing to quickly mention because you have already got an app which is 1.6.12 if you did install that you are going to get an error message if you try to install it now I've purposely deliberately done this so you can see what to expect basically this reason here where it says the app cannot be installed that is because you already have a what DJI fly app basically detects as a newer version to the one they have just released. So what you need to do is go onto your apps on your device and you need to delete that version 1.6.12. And then once you've deleted that Fly app, you can then install this from your downloads. And of course, as you can see, now that's installed, that is 1.6.10. Now this I have been told will actually work perfectly with Android 12 devices. And of course it is an official release as well. Now one of the bugs that was with DJI Fly 1.6.12 is because it was a beta yes it did get you in the air and helped a lot of people out but there was a problem with the flight log syncing basically um, any flight you did on the DJI Fly at 1.6.12 was just simply not working okay I wasn't logging and syncing whereas of course this app 1.6.10 does actually fix that issue now once again as I mentioned on my previous video I have had a good look through the app and I cannot see any new features nor would I expect there to be because as far as I'm concerned just a fix uh, for the Android 12 issue of course if you are on the DJI RC or have an iOS device this will not affect you whatsoever or anybody running any of DJI's smart controllers this is just for those using the RC M1 with an Android device running Android 12 right breathe thank you very much for watching i will post a full review on this app in the coming days uh, so please let me know what you want me to check specifically in the comment section below until next time thank you very much for watching hit that subscribe button if you're not already and see you again soon